One, two, three, all good. Yeah. It's a mixed bag, really, mixed feelings, because on the other hand, it's been really nice to just stop, be at home, do the things that you have not been able to do for the past 10 years. But on the other hand, it's a terrible, terrible tragedy, what's going on. Um, and the more time passes by, the more you feel like just wanting to go back. Um, the band itself, we have a long history, so we can kind of survive for a year. But then again, for the technical crew, for the management, it's a real nightmare. And the whole business, um, I wouldn't call it the death blow, but something close to that. And I just hope that the governments all around the world, you know, realize the situation and help the best they can. But uh, talking about all this on a personal level, uh, like I said, mixed feelings. We have been doing the Ari album now, which was supposed to take place next year at the earliest, but we decided that now we have this break, we might just as well do it. So that's all being recorded and we're going to mix it in a few weeks. So it should be ready in about a two months. Then I've been writing this book of mine, The Forever Project. Um, that should be ready by... Uh, New Year, a lot of renovating in the house. Um, our house has never been so clean <laughs> as it's now because <laughs> you just have the time to clean it up all the time. So, yeah, it's been nice and terrible, mm. and it's been quite the experience. And I hope it all got, comes back to normal sooner than later. First of all, the label Nuclear Blast thought a short while about postponing the release of the album, but then because of things that I'm not going to go into now, they decided to release it as scheduled. And I think it had its advantages and disadvantages. We thought that maybe now, during these times, people would have more time to actually you know, discover the album, go deep into it. Um, take their time with it, so that would be a positive thing. But then release an album like this and then wait for a year before going on tour with that. That's, that's terrible. So it's been really difficult, but we've just made the best out of what we can do. Help the technical crew the best we can um, financially and just being in touch with them regularly. Mm -hmm. You know, how's the heart, all that. But we are coping, for sure. And everybody is remembering constantly that this is not for forever. No matter what happens, it's gonna go away at some point. And, uh, and I just hope that mankind will remember all the lessons learned from this bizarre time. Yeah, when has mankind ever remembered anything? I mean... Um, <laughs> We still are an evolving species, yeah. so I'm actually pretty optimistic that something good might come out of this as well. That's brilliant because the photo shoot in itself wasn't the most important thing for me personally. Just the idea of being there and being there without people visiting. It was a really eerie feeling in a good sense. You know, almost completely empty halls except for the few guards that were following us everywhere all the time, naturally. Uh, but the l lighting was there beautifully and it just didn't feel like a photo shoot really. Mm -hmm. Just felt like wandering about in a holy place and being really privileged to be able to do so.
I don't think there's going to be anything special because we just celebrated the 20th anniversary with the decades tour. So celebrating every five years feels like a bit of an exaggeration. Besides, you celebrate every time you're on tour. So, and I kind of fancy more of this Alice in Wonderland approach that let's celebrate when we have been together for 31 and a half years. Just keep on doing what you do, don't change a thing. Because everything that we have done in the past, the way we have done them, has led us to this point in 2020. And if we would have done something differently, good or bad, we might be in a worse place. So I wouldn't take that risk. How's the drowning in the mire? Let us He's in a really good place. He's splendid. We see each other quite a bit. I see him more often than the other band members actually because he lives so uh, close by, about an hour's drive from our place. We see each other maybe twice a month or something, go to the Finnish baseball games, play a bit of online poker, watch films, all that. And he just it's so wonderful to see him be past all that terribleness. He has found peace, so to say. And that's something that we have discussed a bit with him as well. Because he seems to be in a balanced place where I personally am not quite yet. Mm -hmm. So it's been really interesting to talk to him. How did you find that balance and get over the tragic incident of having to leave the band? Well, the thing that everybody is thinking at the moment is the weird, bizarre situation in the world right now and how it affects to our upcoming shows. And it's just been confirmed that uh, the European tour that was originally scheduled for later this year, 2020, will happen in springtime of 2021. So check the dates from our webpage and uh, it's all gonna be normal soon.